Well, we've had the first batter ever in international cricket timed out. Angelo Matthews. What have you made of it? It's a mess. An absolute mess. That's what I've made of it. Could Angelo Matthews, knowing that his helmet was bust, looked as though it happened on the field? Could Shaky Balasan have waited that little bit longer for the 12th man to get out there and showed a little bit of common sense and just allowed the, you know, the, the 12th man to come on? Was the umpires well within their rights to say, you know what? Because I think Shaky Balasan was well within his rights to say, You've had two minutes. The laws of the game says three. Playing conditions say two. And it looked as though the umpires took over eventually, or Rasmus, and said, no, you've had your time. Off you go. It is a mess. I personally think that Angelo Matthews is a little bit hard done by. I understand Chucky Balasan appealing. Um, Could Angelo Matthews have just faced the first ball without a helmet on? It's not as though he's facing Jasper Bummer. So I think there was a lot of people at fault here. Uh, it was a big mess. Um, common sense possibly could have just let the game go. But Angelo Matthews, is he is he hard done by? That's a big question. Let us know. I think he is just a little bit hard done by. But I don't don't for one minute blame Shaky Palasan for appealing in this situation because of the way the bowlers at the end of the day has to have feelers inside the circle. He needed some time to make sure that he was in a position to start the game again. 